Okay, I want to do something fun. This is uh, midterm week, and um, uh, so I'm creating this video of something fun, a little different. This is what you're looking at right now is the GIMP uh, 2.6, and the GIMP is an open source image manipulation program. It stands for the GNU uh, Image Manipulation Program. It's a uh, open source software and it's excellent. It uh, pretty much can do anything Photoshop can do. Of course Photoshop is is the best. I, I kid you not, Photoshop is is the best and, and for a reason they've done it a long time. But this is a nice little program and it's free and I really like it. It does a great job. And uh, so I was going to show it to you, uh, the GIMP. Uh, if you go to the address is uh, GIMP, G-I-M-P dot org. And if you go there and click on um, download, and GIMP for Windows and click on download GIMP uh, version uh, 2.6.7 here. I just clicked on this one. It took me to another page, uh, SourceForge, and then I clicked on this direct link right here. Um, this direct link right here and opens up a download window right here and then you can hit save and save it to your desktop or whatever. So I've already saved it so I'm going to run the installation right now and let you guys take a peek at it. Alright, let's see, where is it? Here it is. There it is, the GIMP. Um, I'll run that. We'll get that installer going. There it is. Uh, do you want to run this file? Run. And I'm going to get some permissions here. I'm running Vista, so you're going to see Vista type screens. Welcome to the GIMP setup. I'll hit next. Um, here's the public license, the GNU general public license. This is a open source software license. All right, and install now. I'm just going to do a default installation. See how that goes. Um, I haven't used it in a while, so I'm going to try to show you some of the basics from from somebody who hasn't used it in a while. So I'll hit finish. see how this works. Should open up. I'll go back while we're waiting. I will um, go back to that GIMP homepage. Here's the GIMP startup screen. Okay. It's taking a while to start up, but um, yeah, first run should be fine. Now the GIMP uh, stands for um, GNU Image Manipulation uh, Program. GNU is G-N-U and is uh, short for uh, not Unix. GNU is for uh, not Unix and um, Image Manipulation Program uh, is the beginning of open source uh, software movement where uh, anytime you release uh, a program or something you have to make the source code for how the program was created uh, freely available. I think that's pretty much the that's the basics of it. I might be wrong about some of the finer points. If you want to look it up, you just go to uh, the GNU.org and uh, get some information from there. All right, it's looking for plugins and should start up shortly here. And it hasn't been run yet on this computer, so it's taking a little bit longer probably. All right, and there it is. All right, it's not doesn't look like much. Here's this uh, initial window right here. Okay, then over here. In a separate window, this is one of the differences between it and Photoshop is, is the multiple windows. This is the toolbox, right? So it, different floating windows. And then over here, I'm going to pull this into the screen. This is the uh, layers, channels, and paths window. And see that? There's that. Okay. Maybe I can pull this up a little bit so you can see there's my brushes, right? And I'll drag this down so you get a better view of it. And let's open up a uh, photo, file, open. We will open up an image here and see what we can work from here. Pictures, all right. Let's do fishing. Fishing with Mark. I just got some clouds here. Let's open that up. That's inoffensive. Okay, so here's a photo picture. All right, there's a photograph of some clouds. And I'll make this.
this window a little smaller so we can see it. And you can see there's my layer, right? I can turn my uh, eyeball on and off just like in Photoshop. All right, I've got tools here just like in Photoshop. This is a, a rectangular selection tool. Click on the background, disappears. This is an elliptical selection tool, right? You've got a lot of the same uh, or similar tools. Um, this is your move tool, which is like the selection tool in Photoshop where you can move the image. All right, let's see here.